how can you have a healthy mind in an unhealthy world? Let's look at it as we recap yesterday's sermon and bring it into application for everyday use. Well, Psalm 46 is a battle psalm, and Irene talked about it. The context of it was Jerusalem was under siege, and the enemy was attacking with a letter of threat. The king took this enemy, enemy's letter, did not read it, and just laid it in front of God. All the threats, all the yelling outside of the walls, and he said, do not listen to the enemy. Do not engage. Do not talk to him. Now, this, is, this fits to verse 1 and 3 because that's where the enemy is at the gate. Let me read that to you. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though it waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Sometimes it feels that way, right? You, you feel like the earth is giving its way. It's like the things that you felt are secure are not. The things that you counted on, the people that you counted on are not. They, they, there's moments where there's some, some form of, of really panicky moments where we realize, hey, I thought this, th I thought you were faithful to me or I thought he, he loved me or you think, I thought I could, I could really do or something, or I could be a change, or and then suddenly everything falls out of place, and we feel like the earth is giving its way. That's where you have to move to God and be, look to Him, because God is a very present help in trouble. It does not mean that He's He's just there looking around, like not attentive. He's looking after you. That's who God is. And so when the enemy is at your gate, at your mental gate. And you feel attacked, maybe guilt is, or shame is at the door. It's like, oh, shall we talk about your past, All right? That's what Irene said. Or shall, maybe it's panic. I don't think this is going to go well. Hey, anxiety, you know, is, is muttering its, its, its fearful thing. In those moments, you need to not engage with the enemy. You need to not to talk to the enemy who's at the gate and then turn around to God who was a very present help in trouble. Even if the earth gives way, God is there with you. All right. Ah, that's already quite good. Then verse 8 has this wonderful thing. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolation on the earth. By the way, I'm reading the first and then the last and then the middle part because that's how Irene did it. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire, right? If you're, like, your mental state is under attack, ah, go to God. He burns them down. Be still and know that I am God. God is with us. And that is a process, right? We, when you want to have God in your life, you have to get still. You can't go into a house and, and, and say, well, let me put my feet up first and then sit down. You can't uh, say meet up with a friend and, and, and first have coffee with him and then greet him. There's things that have an order. And so um, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the earth, uh, among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. God is a mighty fortress. He is your security in fear. And so the middle part where it says there's a river whose streams make glad the city of gold, that's the result. If you have a God that is with you, protects you like a shield from the top to the bottom, like a, like a mighty help, like a refuge, like a strength, like a fortress, you know, God is in the midst of this holy habitation. She shall not be moved. God will help her. God will help you. When, the, uh, when morning dawns, the nations rage, the kingdoms totter, the world is out of shape, right? Well, God utters his voice, the earth melts, the Lord of hosts is with us. He's with you. The God of Jacob is a fortress. That was just a wonderful thing. Here's your task. Read Psalm 46 loud. Le read it two times. Be still for five minutes. Think about what you just heard. Read it again as a proclamation that God is with us. And then if you're with somebody, talk about it. What did you discover in your three readings? 
God bless you. Have a w- oh man, I needed to add something. This summer we're taking some rest, well deserved, well earned, and happy to look forward to meet you in person. So there's not going to be streaming. There's not going to be uh, these these videos, and we're resuming mid August again. Looking forward to see you at church. Church is going to be slightly different with lots of personal stories with picnics at the end. You're just going to love it. So see you Sunday. God bless.